Danica, can you just uh, give us a summary of the Jewelers International Showcase event, please? Sure. So the Jewelers International Showcase is run by Reed Exhibitions USA. Reed Exhibitions is one of the largest uh, show organizers in the world. It's a publicly traded company. Um, they produce 400 shows annually, and this was their first event in the U.S. market in over a year uh, since the pandemic. The event had 3,000 3, buyers and 170 exhibitors, and it was held at the Miami Beach Convention Center. There was signage in each of the booths to show how many people um, could be in a booth at a particular time. Also had safety stewards to remind attendees and exhibitors to wear their masks. They had shirts on that had a phone number for um, some place to call if you, if they, an attendee or an exhibitor had a question or a concern about the health and safety requirements. They also carried around little lollipop signs with, you know, reminding people to wear their mask and, and they really served as, as the mask police. Uh, contactless registration and daily temperature uh, screenings with wristbands uh, for each different day. There were different colors. They also had one entry only door and one exit only door in the to the exhibit hall um, and they were also checking ids for people on the way into the exhibit hall uh, since there were since there was jewelry and expensive merchandise on the floor they had wider aisles and no carpeting and they did have some food and beverage it, in the hall but it was in the back of the hall and there were food courts and they had um, tables with only three chairs and, and physically distant spacing and then they also had some tall tables with with no chairs at all so that people wouldn't be um, congregating around those chairs and they had health and safety reminders on signage um, throughout the convention center so those were just a few, a handful of the new and different things from pre-COVID times to, to during COVID times. Annika, can you just give us some key takeaways of the attendee experience and how it might have been different from uh, previous years? Sure, sure. So one of the things that I noticed for the first time at, at Jewelers International Showcase was people did have vaccination cards and were fully vaccinated for the first time um, at any event for, you know, <laughs> since since before the pandemic. So that was very different than before, right? People were um, showing me their vaccination cards and they, you know, there were people that were there. You could tell there was a an older crowd that that it personally told me that, you know, they, they felt comfortable being there because they had been vaccinated. So I think that it really ramped up the the attendance at the during the last couple of weeks before the show because people did have time to get vaccinated. Um, I will also say that some of the attendees that I, I spoke to, you know, the jewelry business was uh, did well for in a lot of cases last year uh, during the pandemic. People weren't spending money on vacations or, or international travel. And so they were spending money on jewelry and and big ticket items like that to remember, you know, special occasions. So, you know, the buyers that were there were, were there to restock their stores and it was a, they did have cash and carry at the event. And so people were, you know, had their suitcases and were filling up their, their suitcases to, to bring back for the, the busy upcoming spring summer season. Danica, can you give us uh, some key takeaways of, of how the exhibitors found the event? So the exhibitors that, that I spoke to were all really thrilled to be back at events. Some of them had exhibited in other events prior to that. Um, you know, maybe one or two, there was the Atlanta Jewelry Show a couple of weeks before that. So there was some people who had experience with already being out and exhibiting at shows. And, you know, most of the, the companies that were there were small and medium-sized businesses that, you know, really didn't have the opportunity to meet new customers or, you know, see their customers face-to-face during COVID without the without trade shows. So they were really thrilled to be back in front of their existing customers, but also their new customers uh, to meet new people. And exhibitors that I spoke to did meet new customers and did get some business from new customers while they were there at JIS. Danica, can you just give us a sense of what's next for the Jewelers International Showcase and also for Reed Exhibitions overall? Sure. So, so Jewelers International Showcase will be back uh, in person in Miami in the fall. And JCK is the next um, jewelry portfolio show uh, for Reed. And that's in August in Las Vegas. The next show for Reed Exhibitions is the Vision Expo in June in Orlando.